Hi, today we will see how to use Azure AI to upload the books of accounts in the format of an Excel. To do that, the user needs to navigate to the assignment landing page, choose the required client financial year, click on import books. Now other than uploading books in the format of Tally and Zoho, user can also do an Excel upload. <coughs> the format in which Azure AI accepts the data is given in a template here. The user can download the template here. So let's open the downloaded template. Now the template comes with a set of instructions that the user needs to follow before filling in the data. Those instructions are given in the readme sheet. Now as the upload is not having any transactions other than this excel sheet, some features in Azure AI will not be working accurately. Those features are being listed here. Now the user has to follow certain rules to fill in data. Data needs to be filled in all three sheets cover trial balance and closing stock the rules have been listed here now first is cover sheet now the name of the company needs to be given here accurately and the financial year period needs to be entered here the date format has to strictly be this way next is trial balance sheet here column a b and g are mandatory the other fields have to be filled in accordingly the next set of rules is that the hierarchy for each ledger there are four levels of hierarchy allowed for each ledger. The rule is that you cannot skip a level to enter data in level 2. You cannot skip level 1, enter level 2. You cannot skip level 1 and 2 or level 2 alone to enter level 3. All four levels can be given but in the same level without skipping the previous level. Most important thing is the stock data. The stock values ledgers have to be introduced in the trial balance sheet and then the accurate closing stock values can be given here. Now for the user to understand what kind of errors could possibly be done and how the system reacts when there are errors in the uploading sheet, we have introduced some errors so that the user can understand them clearly. So this is the sheet with errors. Let us try to upload it. Sheet with errors. Now this is a failed upload and there is an error sheet that is given for the user to download. Let us download the error sheet and this is the downloaded error sheet. This comes with an additional error sheet and the errors in each sheet is also enumerated in the last column. Now for trial balance these are the following errors. Let us see them. Now opening balance debit and credit cannot be greater than zero at the same time. So it says that for any ledger. There can be debit or credit balance in the opening and closing balance. It cannot have both debit and credit balances. So let us zero that out. The next error is group 1 cannot be blank. So now this is a hierarchy that is skipped. I have skipped level 1 and entered data in level 2. So let's try to fill in that gap. That is the result. Then stock ledger cannot be left blank. So this is a mandatory field. Column B is mandatory to be entered. Let us enter that. It's also having an other error. Fields can only have numeric value. Now the opening balance is debit credit and closing balance debit credit. All these four columns can only have numeric value, not a space, not formulae, anything like that. So to best ensure that there is no error in the data input, it is best to make it a zero wherever there is a blank field and in value paste all the numbers so that there are no formula or spaces or anything erroneous that this system will not read. Opening balance should have only numeric value. We have fixed it by making it all zeros. Then the next error is any ledger that is introduced in this sheet should have either opening balance or closing balance. In this case, both opening and closing are zero. So such ledgers cannot be added. So let us delete that ledger. So we have resolved all the errors that are given on this sheet. Now let us go to the closing stock sheet. There is only error for finished goods. This ledger is not present in the trial balance sheet. It can even be a zero balance ledger if required. Now let us see what we have done here. We have added raw material and work in progress which have come here as well. No errors are given. Finished goods however has not been introduced here. So let me introduce finished goods y. Now if there is an opening balance present, the opening balance should equal the closing balance as in case of the raw material. If there is no opening balance present, the actual closing balance can be given in the closing stock sheet and the <coughs> it can be a zero balance in the sheet. So let us assume there are no 
balance is for finished goods. Now only these stock ledgers can have a zero balance ledger. Both opening and closing can be zero. No other ledger wherever the status is marked EN can be a zero balance ledger. Now that is also resolved. Then additional errors. The date format is wrong. So let us come to the sheet. Enter the date format accurately. Then the other error is the balance is not tallying in the trial balance. So let us see what the sum is. So now we see there is a mismatch in the opening balance and the closing balance. Such mismatches has to be resolved as well so that the trial balance tallies. Now the user can try, uh, tally the trial balance, delete the error sheets, delete the error columns in both the sheets in the trial balance sheet as well as the closing stock sheet ensure no additional mistakes slips additional in want unwanted data are there in any of the sheet and clean the data completely once the data is clean completely we have a corrected data that we will try to upload again this is a failed upload we are changing all the errors now the corrected data is uploaded again now the Upload is successful. It is first queued. Let us refresh the page. It's in progress and it changes to a success status.